Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a reference image. So let's get started. I'm going to create a reference image offline. So it's so what you need to do is go into test sequence and then go to create test sequence media. You want to go with Capture Media and then click Next. Let's give it a location where the file is going to be located. I'm going to put it on the root of D drive. Let's call it um, Image Capture. Win 10. 1903. I'm going to click Save. The um, staging folder should be default. Media label. I'll just call it Configuration Manager. You can call it whatever you want. I don't need to include Auto Run. You can if you want, but uh, it's not required. I'm going to click Next. Boot Image. I'm going to choose my MDT boot image, distribution point, I'm going to choose my only DP, I'm going to click next, and click next, confirm, It's going to take a few minutes. Let me, I'm going to repa uh, prepare the reference image while it's doing this. Oops. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to revert it back to the original. All right, let me turn on my reference image. Oops. I need to remove the um, the ISO file. Let's go back in. Okay, here's my reference image. You can make changes on your reference image. Um, you know, install software or create different folders. Whatever you want. Text files. It's good enough. So let's go back to um, SCCM console. Look like the reference image boot file I mean um, ISO file is ready I'm gonna close it let's look in here on the D drive there's an image capture here's the ISO file what I need to do is copy this file and put it in my VMware I'm sorry my um, Hyper-V machines I'm going to put it here. <clears throat> I'm 
so this is the offline image capture there's a couple of ways you can do um, this is one of them and the other one you can do using task sequence probably in the next video I'm going to create a task sequence to for reference image All right, let's go back to my VM settings, DVD drive. I'm going to browse to the ISO file. Here it is. Click apply and OK. Now I should see my DVD on DVD ROM drive. Here it is. I'm going to click double click on it and launch media. I'm going to click next. This is the destination where you want to put your WIM file where it's captured to. You can put it on the root of your C drive or you can put it on the network so in this case I'm going to put it on the network I'm going to put it in capture image call it YouTube demo YouTube demo Win 10. Click on save. So make sure you have the right access account to a to access the the network share. So it's going to be my domain account, Carson Cloud, Carson, and then the password. So your domain, your username, and then the password. I'm going to click next. Created by, you can enter all this information you want, but this is only for testing. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to click next. Now, ready to capture. Finish. The first thing it's doing is it's it's running the sysprep command. All right, so the sysprep command is almost complete. 
All right, guys. So the um, the sys prep is finished. Now it, it asking me to reboot. I'm gonna restart. Now it's going to start capturing the image. Capturing, capturing the image can take a while. Um, it's depend on the size of your operating system. In my case here, it's just the basic Windows 10 1903 um, vanilla image. So it's about almost seven gigs. So capturing seven gigs of files of um, size and uploading to the network shares, it's probably going to take about 30 minutes. So while it's doing that, I'm going to pause the video or pause the recording and welcome back. All right, look like it is maybe about 10% completed it's gonna take some time let's take a look at the um, the share to see if anything get created yet let's see YouTube demo here it is the files but it's gonna take some time to complete so as you can see it's only 200 uh, 200 max it's going to be around six to seven gigs. All right, look like the the capture process has been completed. As you can see, an image successfully captured. And here's the location of um, the WIM file. If I click OK, it's going to restart. Let's take a look at the, um, the WIM file. Should be under YouTube demo. here YouTube demo so it is about four gigs um, of the WIM file close to four gig so once you have this created you can go into the operating system operating system deployment and then create a um, an operating system image just right click and um, add operating system image. So that's it, guys. That's how you create a reference image using um, an offline ISO file. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.